Hello, boys and girls. I do hope that you have your paper and pencil ready as I am going to stop throughout the book and ask some different questions for you to jot some ideas down. Now, we have a book here titled Game Time. Game Time was written by Stuart J. Murphy, and you may recognize this as one of our math start books. And this math start book is going to focus on time. As we've been practicing last week, you worked on reviewing, which you already knew about telling time, and this week you're going to be trying out some new stuff. Now, telling time does not just happen with a clock. There are other ways in which we tell time. And in this book, we're going to find out some of those different ways. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, our illustrator, our author, that is, is Stuart J. Murphy, and our illustrator is Cynthia Jabbar. So this is game time. Just before practice on Saturday, a group of girls passed by the soccer field and yelled out, two, four, six, eight, who do we think is really great? The Falcons. Maria, Rebecca, and Ashley were heading to the locker room with Oliver. They yelled back, Huskies, Huskies, we're the best. We're gonna put you to the test. So here we meet our two soccer teams. Our first soccer team is the Falcons. And then there are the Huskies. And the Huskies have another member of the team, Oliver. The big soccer game between the Falcons and the Huskies was just one week away. Last year, the Falcons were the league champions. We can beat them this year, said Rebecca, then we'll be the champions. We have the best mascot, said Ashley, as she gave Oliver a big hug. It's already October 7th, said Maria. We only have seven more days. We'll have to practice really hard. So here they are looking at a calendar. They're looking at when the game is and what day it is. And here we see in the bubble that one week equals seven days. All week long, the Huskies practiced dribbling, passing, and scoring. Oliver came to every practice. Finally, it was Friday. The championship game was just one day away. Don't worry, said Rebecca. In 24 hours, the game will be over and we'll be league champs. Right, Oliver, said Ashley. Woof, agreed Oliver. So here we have one day equals 24 hours. So they're one day away from their big game. On Saturday morning, Rebecca, Ashley, and Maria hurried down to the soccer field to meet Coach Russo and the rest of the team. Oliver came with them. One hour equals 60 minutes. They got there at nine o'clock and the game started at 10 o'clock. They had an hour to warm up. The Falcons were already there. They looked tough. They looked good. They looked really good. In 60 minutes, we'll be Falcon food. Maria moaned. Okay, let's pause here for just a moment. So they arrived at the field at nine o'clock and their game was gonna be at 10 o'clock. Here we see that one hour equals 60 minutes. Take a moment to jot down one hour equals 60 minutes. After both teams had stretched and warmed up, Jake, the referee, arrived. It was 10 o'clock. Jake looked at his watch and yelled, game time. So here's his watch. Go ahead and draw a clock that shows 10 o'clock. Let me show you how you might want to get started with that. So the easiest way to make an analog clock is to go ahead and start with a circle. With that circle, you're going to try to find the center and mark it. Then what I like to do is mark 12 o'clock at the top, 6 o'clock at the bottom, 3 o'clock to the right, and then 9 o'clock to the left. Then I have a little bit easier time writing in the other hours. So if I were gonna draw a clock that was said 10 o'clock, I'm gonna first start with my hour hand. 
And my hour hand is going to be a little shorter and pointing to the 10. And then my minute hand here points up to the 12. And there I have a clock that reads 10 o'clock. Let's go ahead back to the story. Both teams were ready for the kickoff. Oliver galloped up and down the sidelines. I also see up here on the scoreboard that their game is going to be one hour long. It's marked with 60 minutes. The two teams dribbled and passed the ball up and down the field for almost a quarter of an hour. No one scored. Then one of the Falcons broke away and ran for the goal. So they use the term quarter of an hour. Here we see one quarter hour equals 15 minutes. So if I go back to my clock and go ahead and try yours too. Here the game started at 10 o'clock. It said one quarter hour. One quarter hour equals 15 minutes. We may hear the time said as quarter past 10. That's the quarter hour. So I would move 5, 10, 15 minutes. So now my hour minute hand, that is, would be on the 3. And yes, my hour hand has moved a little bit past the 10. So now we have 10, 15. The quarter hour had passed. Maria did her best to block the goal, but it was too late. The Falcons scored the first goal. Jake blew his whistle and the first period was over. Already, 15 minutes had gone by. Just five minutes into the second period, a teammate passed the ball to Rebecca. With a quick kick, Rebecca sent the ball flying past the Falcon goalie. There were two minutes to go in the second period. One of the Falcons got the ball again. It was almost halftime. They had been playing for nearly 30 minutes. Ashley tried to steal the ball back, but the Falcon picked it past her, right into the goal. Halftime, yelled Jake. Half an hour was gone, and the score was Falcons two, Huskies one. Now, if our quarter hour is 15 minutes, then we also know that our half hour is 30 minutes. So here was the first period ended at 10.15. Now it is halftime with the second period have ended. Now it is 10.30. We may also hear this called half past 10 o'clock. two teams ran off the field for a 15 minute break. While they rested and drank lots of water, Coach Russo gave everyone orange slices to eat. He even had a dog biscuit for Oliver. They've got us beat, Maria said, sighing. We'll never get to be champions. So now they've rested for 15 minutes during their halftime break. We can still do it, said Rebecca. Remember our cheer? Huskies, Huskies, we're the best. We're gonna put you to the test. The whole team shouted. Oliver barked along. Your 15 minutes are up, hollered Jake. They rushed back onto the field. Here's Oliver cheering them on. You can do it. Both teams were playing good defense and 15 minutes passed without a goal. Oliver watched from the sidelines. 45 minutes equals three quarter of an hour. Andrew blew his, or Jake blew his whistle to announce that the third period was over. They had been playing for 45 minutes and the Falcons were still in the lead. So here in the green is their first period. The orange is their second period. The blue was their halftime break. And now here we have in the yellow, the third period has ended. What time does that clock say? Take a close look at where the hour hand is pointing and where the minute hand is pointing. Let's go ahead back to our paper and pencil. And let's start again. Again, to draw a clock. 
I'm going to start with that circle. I'm going to find the center. I'm going to mark my 12 o'clock, my 6 o'clock, my 3 o'clock, and my 9 o'clock. And then I can go ahead and write in my other hours. So remember, where was the hour hand pointing? The hour hand pointing was pointing to the 11. And the minute hand is now on the 12. So it is 11 o'clock. And the score is still two to one. As the fourth period began, Rebecca yelled, this is our last chance. Go Huskies go, Ashley shouted. Oliver barked and barked. For most of the period, no one could score. Then Ashley got to the ball and headed it to Rebecca. Rebecca turned, got the ball, and kicked it right into the goal. Tied game, yelled Jake. There's one minute to go. The Falcons had the ball again, but Rebecca rushed in and stole it. She took off down the field. Already, 45 seconds of the last minute were gone. Coach Russo ran to the sidelines. The crowd counted down the seconds as Rebecca ran. 15, 14, 13, 12. So here we can see on the scoreboard, those seconds are ticking down. Rebecca got ready to kick the ball, but suddenly a falcon blocked her shot. There was no way she could make the goal. 11, 10, 9, the crowd yelled. Quickly, Rebecca passed the ball to Maria, and Maria kicked it into the net falcon's net to score. Huskies win, Huskies win, cheered the team. The Huskies shook hands with the Falcons and then charged off the field. The Huskies were finally the champs. We did it. Okay, so some of the things that we went over during the book, not only do we tell time on a clock, we also tell time on the calendar. They watched as one week went by and then they had one day left before the game. Once the game started, we took a look at our analog clock and we right before right when they were starting fourth quarter, it was 11 o'clock. So they were getting ready to start in 15 minutes. 15 minutes passed in the time for fourth quarter. So I would count 5, 10, 15. So it's no longer 11 o'clock. Now it is 1115. And my minute hand has moved to the three. And my hour hand has moved just a bit closer to the 12. So here is 1115. So boys and girls, go back to your paper and pencil and think about how the book Game Time helped us with our telling time work. 